Yan T await. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> um, I'm really sorry. I just connected now. Uh, something went uh, wrong with my what, and I was really sorry. <clears throat> okay. Uh, once again, I uh, I do a good night, brothers and sisters. Uh, may the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Um, uh, I, uh, a sharing that I want to share with us tonight. Uh, it's a sharing that we I uh, share also with uh, with uh, young people in the morning. So I'm uh, share something tonight. So I'm I'm happy to share again uh, the Bible sharing that the thought of the day we we go through during that day. So uh, the topic that I, the topic that I uh, want to share is uh, secure sec secure your spiritual birthright. Like uh, <clears throat> we all know, uh, we the time we repent, baptize, and receive the Holy Spirit, uh, God gave us His Holy Spirit as a parent. Like Ephesians 1, verse 13. I think it's good we read the scripture. Ephesians. Ephesians 1, verse 13 and 14. He also trusted after that, he had the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also after that he believed he was he was sealed with that holy spirit of promise as 14 says which is the innest earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchase possession and unto the praise of his glory so verse 13 says in whom he also trusted after that he had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. So we like uh, scripture also Romans 10, 17 talks about that uh, faith comes from hearing. The first time we, uh, we we hear the word of the Lord, we have it, the, by hearing the word of the Lord, we have faith or believe in the word that we, we heard. And then that's the time where like it says, the gospel of your salvation. That message that we heard brings salvation to us. And that is to us obedience to the word of the Lord. So it is our obedience and our humility that when we humble ourselves and accept the word of the Lord, that's where salvation comes to us. It says, in whom also after that he believed, he was sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So here it talks about that. that is our belief that we through we believe the word of the Lord God gave us uh, or shows us the salvation and we were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So here he talks about that when we receive the receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is like a a seal that God owns us. So it says Holy Spirit of promise. So God gave us the Holy Spirit and it's a promise to us so that God will always be with us through the Holy Spirit. When we receive the Holy Spirit, God promised that He will always be with us. That's why the Holy Spirit that He has given us. Which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of our purchase possession until unto the praise of His glory. So when we receive the Holy Spirit, 
we also the inheritance we inherit the the blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that's why we have peace, we have harmony, we have love, we have joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. All these we inherit. We inherit those blessings, and that is through the receiving the Holy Spirit. Remember our testimonies. We all we have our own testimony. Before we were trying our best to have that uh, peace. So we were trying our best to have the harmony, but we, we cannot. Still, there was there was not all these things. But until we receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that we receive, the inner it comes with the blessings, the peace, love, joy, and now we can understand the word of the Lord. So. All these things, which we all know that, uh, like the first point that I want to talk about, like uh, inheritance of the spiritual blessings, it talks about the, the spiritual inheritance. At the time we receive the Holy Spirit, we inherit also the, the blessings, the spiritual blessings. It says joy and peace, spiritual inheritance. We open our Bible to Romans 14, verse 17. Our next scripture. Romans 14, verse 17. It says, For the kingdom of God is not man, is not meat, is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So the kingdom of God is not a matter of our meat or drink or things. In other words, like the things we can see, but Yet says, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. So, kingdom of God, when we receive the Holy Spirit, we inherit the things from the kingdom of God or the things from God. And it says, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So, the joy that makes us, that's why we have the joy, that's why we always have, uh, we come together, we share our testimonies. And because of the joy that the Holy Spirit has given us and the peace that God has shown us. So it says here, the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. So these are the inherit spiritual inheritance or the things that we inherit that is through the blessings that we receive through through the Holy Spirit. Another another thing is contentment. Like uh, our next scripture says, uh, Matthew 10, verse 10. Our next scripture. Matthew 10, verse 10. Uh, what again? Sorry, John 10, verse 10. says the thief cometh not but for to steal and kill and to kill and to destroy i am come i am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abund abundantly so here it talks about the thief thief come to steal kill and destroy that's the work of the devil he comes just to destroy or to distract us or to uh, avoid us not to be part of the fellowship, not to be uh, uh, doing the things or following the commandment of the Lord. So he comes just to disturb us or distract us because why? He has been judged. But it says, I am come that might have life. So through Jesus Christ, he has come to show us life. And they might have it more abundantly. So that life that he has given us, Yes, it says that they might have it more abundantly. So the life in, in, in the spirit is abundant. So it's, it's the blessings that the, in the spirit is abundant. abundant. That's the life where Christ has come, has come to show us or has given us. And that is through the receiving of the Holy Spirit. Like sometimes we, uh, you know, we, uh, we think too much or we think a lot of things. But here it's an encouragement for us that uh, we should be uh, content or we should have the contentment that uh, 
contentment of, about the life that we have the the, through the Holy Spirit. Like we all know that the the, the place now we, we stay like uh, it's like a friendship, you know, a friendship. They just come and then they stay and then they they will go. So life in the, the world it's just a temporary and then it will uh, will uh, it will not stay long. We just come and go. It's like a just a just like a transit place, transit place. So as our spirit feel, when we have contentment, then we, we will not think too much of the things or material things, but we will think about the life after this life. So that's why we come through the fellowship. Some some of us, they have work, but they, they sacrifice their time to come to be part of the fellowship. That's what the Lord wants us to be. And that is through the sharing and eating together uh, through the word of the Lord. So Matthew 6, 19 also talks about that. Should I always pressure or to be filled, filled with the pressure from above. And that is through the word of the Lord and be part of the work of the Lord. Like, uh, as we all know the story, uh, like I give uh, the story about the, the two brothers, uh, Jacob and Esau. Esau was... Uh, Esau, he was the firstborn, and in Israel, the firstborn, they inherit the blessings from the father. Uh, so we all know Abraham is a, is a man of God, and he, God bless him, God bless him abundantly. But the two sons, Esau and Jacob, Jacob is the secondborn, but uh, Esau was the firstborn. So I'll just read here, it says, Genesis 29, sorry, 25. 25 was, uh, twenty-nine. I'll just read down. It says, Once when Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau came in from the open country, famished. He said to Jacob, Quick, let me have some of that Red stew, unfamished. That is why he was also called Edom. 29, uh, 31. Uh, what chapter? Yeah, then go, go down, scroll down now. You go down to 31. It says, And as I said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray. Be with that some red bodies, for I am faint, therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob shall said, Sell me this day thy birthright. Verse 32 it says, And as I said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? So, down it says, Then Jacob. Uh, verse 33 says, And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore unto him. And he said, His birthright unto, he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and porridge of Gentiles. And he did eat and drink, and rose up, and went his way. Thus Esau, Esau despised his birthright. So here, it tells the story about Esau. He was, uh, he says, Yeah, I'm at the point to die. And what shall this birthright do to me? So this is the very word of Esau. He did not, uh, he did not deserve, or he did not uh, recognize that at the, at the responsibility of that uh, position, so that uh, like thinking what will happen in like uh, if Abraham dies, or that uh, inheritance from Abraham, Esau will take over. He did not think about that. He just think for the day because of his hunger. He was hung very because of his hunger. He wants to share his birthright. And it says there, and Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave our bread and bodies of the Gentiles, and he did did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus as our despise his birthright. 
so as how this vice is were tried so he did not uh, he did not recognize that the inheritance of from the father he will take over he did not think about these things but because of his hunger and then he sold his birthright and jacob what he did he was thinking about the future or thinking about the inheritance the the responsibilities that they will take over take over so he was thinking about the future so it's like uh, it's a good encouragement for all of us like the topic says uh, secure our spiritual birthright so as spirit feel the spirit feel Yes, we will come through many things and uh, things where we will walk in our walk. We will come through some uh, things in life, but we should always uh, remember and secure our spiritual birthright. Because this life, we will go through this life, and there's a crown of life, like Revelation 3, verse 11 talks about that. That the crown of life, hold, hold on to your seat. Because we will receive the crown of life. That's why it's very important that we should always remember, always remember this. That's why God has shown us our day-to-day -day testimonies or miracle testimonies. We all we have our testimonies. And those are part of that, uh, the blessings that God wants to show us. And the bigger one, it will come when we, the time where the Lord comes back, then we will get the, the full uh, reward from the Lord. So that's why it's very important story that uh, come that we should always uh, think about the responsibilities of us as a spirit field yeah. I think uh, last three points it says here yeah, it says uh, I think we open our Bible to Romans 8 verse 15. J15 says, For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, where, whereby we cry, Abba, Abba Father, Father. So the spirit that we receive should not they make us, it's not a spirit of bondage again to fear, no. That's why uh, the spirit that when we receive we should always have courage that God is always with us. And the spirit comes from God. And God, you all know, God is so powerful and He's the source of everything. That's why He has given His Holy Spirit to us. So that's why we should not have fear. It says, But He has received the spirit of adoption. And through the Holy Spirit, we are adopted into the family of God. That's why we call brothers and sisters. We all are brothers and sisters. And we have our, our father. It says, whereby we cry our Abba, Abba, Father. So, we now, brothers and sisters, we are like a, in, eternal, eternal families. We are brothers and sisters. Yes, physically, we may not close, but through the Holy Spirit, it's a spirit adoption. Through the Spirit of the Lord, we are adopted into the family of God. That's why the nature of God is with us. That's why it says Jeremiah, uh, Genesis 1, verse 26. It says, let, it says, let us create man in our own image. So we, God at the creation, it's, it says this very word. But it comes to us when we repent, baptize, and receive the Holy Spirit. We are image of God. Because by God is spirit. Those who worship him in spirit and in truth. So we, we now, the image of God. God created us when we repent, baptize, and receive the Holy Spirit. Now we are image of God. That's why the nature of the Lord is 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 a God of love, God of mercy. That's why also our spirit feel we should have that image, image of God, and that is true. We should reflect that. We should grow in our hearts. We should reflect that. Like Matthew six, it says, "Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name." That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we now we are in here. We, we should the things that we are we will be doing we should demonstrate what we will do. We are practicing for what what to come. That's why we should not have sorrow. We should not have uh, sadness or we should not have worries. All these things. These are these are the things where they will not do in, in the kingdom of God. That's why our spirit feel we should have that. Uh, the mind of Christ that yes, 
the happiness that we should have, even the trials we come in life, we should have the joy in us, the peace in us. We should have, have uh, the image of the likeness of God. We should have endure it with uh, happiness or endure it with joy, endure it with peace because we are in here, it's just temporarily we are going, it's our transit. We are practicing of the things to come. That's why we should always be strong and not to fear any, because why? The likeness of God through His Holy Spirit now we are producing His likeness. In the last, last two scriptures, Ephesians 1, verse 5. Five and six, having predest having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Christ, by Jesus Christ to Himself, according to the good pleasure of His will, to the praise of His glory, of His grace, wherein He hath made us accepted in beloved. So, here it talks about the the, the, the things. It is unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to, to himself. So through Jesus Christ, he has now made us way or has made a way so that the spiritual adoption, we are now adopted to the people or the family of God through, or through, through his Holy Spirit, according to the good pleasure of his spirit, to the praise of his glory, of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. So here the scripture is encouraging us through the Holy Spirit there is a uh, grace yeah. through the Holy Spirit it's a spirit that yeah, God's grace is uh, will be with us that's why like us secure our spiritual but like like the Holy Spirit talks about uh, the nature of the Holy Spirit is like fire fire and the time destruction will come you should always keep that fire burning glows. Spirit, fire comes, time where destruction will happen. And we have fire, and then the Holy Spirit, where we keep the fire burning, then we will be saved. That's why we should always have uh, come together, fellowship, encouraging one another, and be strong in the fellowship to keep the fire burning. That way, God will always with us and will show us many things, the blessings that we for us. Our last scripture Revelation 3 verse 11 Revelation 3 verse 11 It says Yo, I come quickly all that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown so here, the scripture is encouraging us that uh, Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Yes, we have seen many signs that uh, talks about the coming day of the Lord, like Matthew 24, 1, 2, 3. In 3 down, it talks more about that. The disciple there was asking, what shall we see to show that your coming back is very soon? And then he described the, the, the signs, like the pestilences, and the famine, all these things. Like now we're seeing actual fact is coming now like the, the virus and all these things. These are the signs where these things happen to show us that yes, God will come very soon. Hold it fast which thou hast, that no man take that wrong. So here, since they hold on that fast which thou hast. So what, what, what is that we want to hold it, uh, hold it fast? It is the Holy Spirit. Uh, this is our birthright as a spirit-filled people. Families of God. That's why we have to hold on fast with our the Holy Spirit. We should hold fast with which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So the which thou hast made take thy crown. So we we are come we through the Holy Spirit now. We are going through life, and we are hoping hoping to have the everlasting life. That's why the Lord has prepared the price for us and. When we, like Paul explained, or he was talking about the, giving the picture of a person, they will run, they have practice, and then that's where a winner will stick to his lane and finally will get his crown and win the prize. So, as spirit 
we walk through this life, we go through trials, tribulations, all these, these things, but you should always remember that there's a crown. Crown uh, for us, waiting for us. Like Jesus Christ, he came through yesterday. Uh, he fell through the cross, he went many uh, mocking, they do many things, but he did not see these things and he, he continued because he knows that there's crown or there's Christ waiting for him. And now he, what? Is now at the right hand of his father. So as for the faith, we go through tribulation. Jesus Christ has shown us that yes, we should always be strong and keep on all on to that hope until the, the Lord comes and he will take us to meet him. I think I leave it there and leave it back to Brother Joshua. Thank you, Brother Joel, for the sharing of the word for tonight. And <clears throat> it was a very nice talk also about our uh, spirit as our birthright and as the key to, and how we must take good care of our spirit filled lives so that we would <coughs> so that we would be uh save all right so we're going to sing two more songs before we go with uh prayer in spirit and the closing prayer so we're going to sing song number c24 2054 so So, right, let's sing. Oh. I know. What's up? Let's sing in three, two, one. It only takes a spark to get the fire going. And soon all those around can walk a minute's glowing. That's how it is with God's love. Once you've experienced it, it's great as love everyone. Want to pass it on? Oh, one the cypress tree, and all the trees are budding. The birds begin to sing, the flowers start their blooming. That's how it is with God's love. Once you've experienced it. Want to sing as fast as we want to pass it on. Wish for you, my friend, this happiness that I found. You can depend on him, it matters not where you're bound. Oh, shout it from the I want my world to know the Lord of love has come to me. I want to pass it on, pass it on. Okay, we'll sing one more song. Which one? Uh, wait. Sing it. There we go. Uh, we'll sing Tagalog song. Uh, lahat ibibigay. Right, we'll 
will sing in three, two, one. Pagising sa umaga, kay ganda, kay ganda. Ganda ng mundo ang ginawa niya. Ngayon lang nakita ang ganda ng mundo. Salamat sa Diyos at ako'y binago. Tanggapin ko si Jesus sa aking Diyos Nagbago ang lahat sa buhay ko Bagong ligaya ang nadadarama Bagong pag-asa ang nakikita So before we go to the closing prayer and or before we go to the prayer in spirit, anybody has any uh, prayer requests if they want to say? Uh, any prayer requests, brothers and sisters? You can type it in chat if you want. None? So, we're going to pray uh, for 15 minutes in spirit. And after that, I will ask uh, Brother Levy to have the closing prayer. All right? Let's all praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We should say, Lord, hallelujah, Lord.
Sus keperakar para keperakar harus keperakar dan harus keperakar keperakar harus keperakar dan 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 harus keperakar harus keperakar dan 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 harus Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for gathering us today, Lord. We thank you for blessing each and every one of us, Lord. Thank you for protecting us, Lord. Thank you for protecting our brother, Lord, who came all the way up north, Lord, to Manila, Lord, protecting him, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for each and everyone's help, Lord. Uh, we thank you for the encouraging um, testimonies that we have, Lord. Especially your message, Lord. We thank you for uh, enlightening our brother, Lord, to give this talk, Lord, to give the message, Lord, to convey the message of your word, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We humbly ask, Lord, uh, uh, all the things that uh, our hearts desire, Lord. We know, uh, Lord, that uh, you already know what uh, our hearts desire, Lord. Uh, we offer everything to you, Lord. We pray in mighty name, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise to you. And all the people said? Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Each other. You can all open your mics now. I am. Uh -huh. Hello, Nigel. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Basta. Lahat. So, wala pang ano, wala pang dinner. Ay, so, yung mga wala pang dinner dyan, kumain na. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Bye na. Um, 